tie. <laughs> you can call it the perfect pairing. Wine and furry friends. Yeah, this is a great event. So Melissa Gable is here from the Foothills Animal Rescue. Tell us about this event you guys are putting on. Yeah, so Whiskers and Wine, this is our seventh annual event. It is a food and wine and beer tasting event. And the best part is, Tickets are just $50, so it's very reasonable. You come out, you're helping homeless pets. It's at Wingate Ranch, which is right across the street from our shelter. And we've got some great food sponsors, including Breakfast Joint, and Chef Dave is here to uh, share some of his yummy food with us. All right, so Chef Dave, let's talk about, you brought something that looks amazing. What is this? This is incredible. This is our Southwest Quinoa. It's actually a surprise item on our menu. It's not on our menu, but people that know about it can get it. What we do is we take red quinoa, white rice, poblano <laughs> peppers, roasted corn, uh, a little bit of cilantro, lime, and then what we do is we're going to saute this together real oh, quick here. You don't already grab well, our spoon. Because you, it's, not often, it's not Hold often, up. Chef, that we get vegetarian <laughs> options. Well, in the, the this is a fantastic <laughs> option, but you can also add chicken to it, egg whites. You, I mean, this is a really healthy dish. Quinoa in and of itself is, is a, a superfood right up there with blueberries and kale. But I also brought our world famous biscuits and gravy. Oh, that's a good hearty For breakfast. For all of the, food. the behind the scenes staff here, they're already clamoring uh -huh, to get their hands on that. Counting, they're counting their biscuits, Chef. Actually, we voted uh, number one uh, uh, gravy in the Southwest. Really? Wow. No, it wasn't, but it should be. Oh. <laughs> but it should be. Are you going to be serving this up? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. We're, we're going to be featuring the, the quinoa okay. at the event, but the biscuits and gravy is available 24 7 at the restaurant. That is awesome. Okay, can we talk about Honey Bear right here, please? Absolutely. So, Honey Bear came to our shelter with her little baby who got adopted right away, and she is still here. She actually came to another shelter in town. She was having problems with her pregnancy. She lost two of her puppies. I'm so sorry. And honey she bear. just has like a sad little face about her. She and she's does. the sweetest thing. She hasn't moved I or know. barked or grunted. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's a dog, not a pig. <laughs> but Shorty grunts. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> Chihuahuas grunt, people. Chihuahuas grunt. Melissa, tell us about what other things this money will go for. Because I've been to your shelter. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. You guys yeah. really have one of those shelters that you go in there and you know that the animals are being treated right. Yes, and you know, we're small. We consider ourselves kind of a boutique shelter, but that also allows us to have very personal relationships with the animals. So we know everyone that's in our care. We know their personalities. And that money really does allow us the opportunity to provide excellent care for the dogs and cats that are at our shelters. Yeah. 30 seconds left, how do people get tickets? Absolutely, go to our website, foothillsanimal.org. You'll see it right on the homepage, just 50 bucks. If you buy before noon on Monday, after that, prices go up to $65. And you guys, Honey Bear is available for a forever home right now. And Chef Dave, thank you so much for coming in from the joint. We appreciate it. You'll be up there as well. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Well, thanks, Melissa. Thank you. Thanks, we'll be right back, everyone.